I reached our right to the phone right now, but leave your name number and mess. Like I thought the struggles of the snow business. The guys calling in 30, 45 minutes before dispatch. Good morning guys, what's going on? I'm gonna make this one quick because it's freezing outside right now. Currently 12.30 a.m. and we're on snow event for second day in a row here. And we got another good 10, almost 15 centimeters in some areas. And uh, we're gonna go blow some snow today. Pretty fired up. We did extremely successful yesterday. Um, we did end up doing two passes. It did take a little longer than we were anticipating. However, it was definitely a successful snow event. I got tractor four started right now. I'm gonna clean the parking lot all up. All the troops are gonna be in for 1.30. We're gonna dispatch for two, complete one full pass. Plan is to be done before 8.30 a.m. That'd be great. Maybe even 8 a.m. That'd be awesome. And then hopefully if we can squeeze a second pass, we will. If not, it'll have to wait till tomorrow. Guys, stay Stay tuned for this snow event and I'll keep you updated with what happens. I'm gonna go inside to get warm, get this parking lot done, and I'll keep you updated shortly. It's back like we never left or what? Exactly, exactly. A couple hours of sleep, go both a couple of hours. I don't even know if I slept. I was just tossing and turning. <laughs> Metro just walks in the door with this hair package of straight straight energy drinks, V8s, G Fuels. I'm pretty sure these are like 300 milligrams. <laughs> Zero sugar, energy, and focus. I don't even know what you're burning on, brother. What happened to the good, trusty old espresso? Too dirty for you. Need a little extra boost, need a little extra boost here. I could use an energy drink myself. Okay, well, next time, let me know before, because uh, I don't have anyone in the machine. So if you're still well enough to come, head in. Well, next time, let me know before this fashion is out, and now I'm gonna find you on your machine, so if you're good enough to come, get up here and load some stuff. I'm not too sure, um... Yeah, if you would've let me know last night, I maybe could've found a replacement, but uh, now I'm pretty uh, pretty deep in this. So, my calling people to get, get someone in at 12.30 at night, which is gonna be impossible, or what's the case here? Bro? Quick yes or no, I gotta start making calls. Okay, well, I, uh, no, I don't think I can do this. All right. Who the else are you calling at 12.30 at night? We finna call <laughs> No one's even coming in. You wanna give a show while I do this? Oh, who? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll give him a call. <laughs> The struggles of the snow business. Guys calling in 30, 45 minutes before dispatch. Hey, at least he gave us a heads up. Usually they just don't show up at all. You know what I mean? My God. What's on the agenda for the notes today? Look out for the new houses. Look out for any new properties that we got to service. There's quite a bit. I have to go map them in. I'm sure there's probably quite a few, quite a few more. Right, maybe we'll get uh, service later today if we get the chance. Yeah. But uh, for right now, we're gonna take care of anyone that's in the system already. That way we're not backtracking and fighting ourselves, but we can get up there and blow some snow. That's, that's it. Agenda. Make it happen best we can try and finish before what would be a good goal i was saying on the camera earlier 8 8 30 would be dynamite but we'll have to wait and see guys got the gvs out of them yesterday for the first big one here's the second big one we were what 9 9 30 yesterday i think 8 30 is a great goal what is that from 2 a.m dispatch six and a half hours that wouldn't be too shabby mind you we definitely signed up like at least another 50 customers from <laughs> yesterday as well too so that's not going to make us quicker but like i said everybody's got the first large snow event run out of their system and i'm sure they're gonna have a lot more confidence today and be a lot more quicker we are down one kubota l6060 and it's completely down we blew the lift arm in the back and it's i think it's pissing hydraulic oil too if i'm not mistaken anyway it's a major component that pretty much lifts the whole rear end up yeah we have got one tractor down so that brings us to 35 we are missing one of our best operators joe which sucks ass. 
he's down in Toronto for a medical appointment. So, I mean, it's really minor detail. Yeah, 35 operators in the field. We're only down one machine, one stellar operator, which doesn't really hurt us that bad at all. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, but you know, having all hands on deck obviously is better and makes us quicker. But yeah, 8.30 a.m. I'm thinking it's a sweet spot. We'll be able to finish that today. Very confident, very excited for today's snow event. I know we're gonna sign up a ton of more customers, which is obviously the goal. Hopefully we could be at 3,100 to 3,150 active by possibly the end of the day, or, you know, give or take the end of this week, if they trickle in a little bit slower than I imagine. But uh, I think right now we're at 3,075 or almost 3,100. I'd have to double check real quick, but certainly have signed up a number of customers in the last 24 hours. And there's still so many more people who want to sign up. It's just, there's only so much we could do in, uh, in 24 hours between battle snow and support so i'm sure there's gonna be a lot more sign up for that came from and uh we're gonna keep working our way to the big goal of 3500 i definitely know it's gonna be a long run to 3500 active customers this year but i'm gonna say that i am confident i think that we could definitely reach that goal if not come really close so wish me luck guys we're gonna keep pushing but we definitely need this snow to kind of taper down a little bit so we could catch up we're giving it our all we got office staff literally working 14 16 16. Yesterday, everybody pretty much worked a 20 hour shift from the machine back into the office, including myself. And we're gonna put it all out on the table again today to make it happen, to not only provide exceptional service, but sign up more customers. Yeah, hopefully the snow stops after today and we can just do a, a touch up pass tomorrow and quality control sake dispatching, but uh, hopefully it's done so we could play catch up here and uh, get organized, regroup and make a couple pivots and changes within the business to properly execute moving forward. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop talking on the mic here and go get in tractor four, clean this parking lot, make sure I could help Mitch with anything he needs help with. I know Eric, Andreas, Nick are on their way right now and we're gonna get prepared before everybody comes here for 1.30 a.m. Then it's gonna be time to go and crank, time to go turn up production, time to go crank some driveways and uh, wish us luck. Catch you soon. Okay, I just got the five bulldogs started behind me here. Check them out. They're warming up. I got tractor one for today. That's my set of wheels. Eric starting some of the four R's down there that always give them trouble. Then we're on to the Kubotas. And we're about 30 minutes away from dispatch time, baby. <laughs> currently feel like minus 15 out here almost on the brink of 20 i swear maybe i'm just not used to the cold yet but it's freezing out here we haven't had trouble starting one machine all of them have fired up exceptionally well even these old john deere so quite happy to see that now we're just moving on to getting some of these operators that are here early out of the shop so we could go start get a roll on this snow event okay i'm hopping in the 6130 again andre's fueling me up with some uh diesel we got all the boys lining up waiting to get some extra fuel grabbing their tanks 20 liter military tanks and we're about to dispatch here we've already had i'd say about 10 to 12 guys already leave the shop which is awesome getting a good head start it's not even 1.30 a.m. So a lot of guys here early and we're getting to move on. Catch you guys out in the field. Me and Tiago are hopping on Outer West just like we did yesterday. Very similar snow event for the both of us. We're gonna go and uh, double up on this route, pick up some production, hopefully have it done within four and a half to five hours max. And then we're gonna go help some other guys out in the field. I'm probably gonna be sticking around in the tractor till about 7 a.m. It's currently 1.45. But yeah, I'm in the 61.30 a.m. Doubled up with Tiago on the Outer West. This is a mean, mean route. Not a lot of houses, just the driveways are incredibly large and very difficult. So, you know, the route definitely takes longer than I'd like. That's why we're doubled up on it together, but we're both very experienced and I know we'll, uh, we'll have it all done well before 7 a.m. for the customer. 
hours, which is nice. And then we're going to go help some other guys in the field. Fingers crossed we wrap up this show before 8.30 a.m. That's the plan. Yesterday we finished at about 9.30 a.m. Now I was really hoping we were going to get done quicker, but some things didn't work out the way we wanted them to. But that's all right. The first big snowfall of the year. We're getting warmed up. We're getting into our group. We're finding our motion. But we're back out here today again to kill it and only get quicker and only provide better service so super excited right now to go and bang some laneways out i'm gonna hop on the phone give tiago a call see where the hell he's at i'm on this road by myself i mean i did leave the shop a little bit early 1 45 a.m but that's no excuse should have been in here for 1 30 damn guy anyways i'm gonna get a move on and uh, i'll catch you guys out in the field blowing some snow stay tuned Okay, first major problem of the day. I was about an hour into my shift, went to go hop on a new route, jumped off from Tiago's, went on to West 8 to go help um, a new guy out. And I come into my first laneway and uh, my blower is completely fucked on the back of this tractor right now. It won't lift up or down. Um, controls inside the cab aren't working. So I don't know if the rig's having some electrical issues or what the issue may be, but uh, that's the first major breakdown of the day. This tractor needs to be severely looked at. I've troubleshooted everything I know. Might be something simple, but I'm not sure if it's some sort of switch, valve, electrical issue, whatever the hell it could be, but blower won't lift up and down. Besides that, there's nothing really wrong with it. That was just a major thing. However, it's always nice to have some extra machines because I got this gorgeous Kubota L6060 with the Chronicle Cyclone on the back. Brand new tractor, Nordic Edition, number 25. I'm about to hop in this pig and go pick up some production. So thank God for having the machine here and I'll catch you guys back on the road. static right now and you all know how loud that can be i'm just heading off west one we crushed this road before 7 a.m there's a couple of the boys that uh, came to help on the end of the road there but i'm on my way back to the shop to help with support and customer service you know what this morning's been absolutely fantastic gravel driveways got a nice base now so things are blowing really nicely we finished in a pretty good timely manner we're not completely done as a whole but uh in the west end anyways and now we're working our way towards being done as a team hopefully by 8 
8.30 a.m. That would be absolutely awesome. We're on road and on track for at least finishing this whole show up by 8.30 a.m., but we'll have to just wait and see. Anyways, I'm gonna get in the office before the phone starts going wild. I'll update you guys back in a little bit, uh, tell you how we uh, made out. We'll catch you guys in a couple hours here. Stay tuned. Everybody's back. Look at this lineup right now. All the boys are back for the second pass. Gonna grab their coffees, gonna grab their donuts. The triple B. Me and Eric out here. You guys are fueling up their tractors, fueling up their jerry cans, grabbing some coffee, grabbing some donuts. And then we're, we're heading out for the second pass. second pass. What time do you think we're gonna be done everything today? By noon. By noon. There you have it. By noon, everything done. because this has been the two toughest fucking snow events back to back I think I've ever experienced. And uh, I feel like I say that every once in a while, but like I'm really telling you guys the truth. It has been a difficult past couple days and that certainly definitely comes with scaling the business as like, you know, growing from 500 to 2000, I learned so many new things. Growing from 2000 to over 3000 now, it's just a whole other new element and world of new problems. And, uh, you know, we're finding solutions to them. We're getting better. We're becoming stronger. And as always, we're going to push to become successful and come on top and, you know, truly stand behind who we are as a company at Northern Snow. And, you know, the problems are good. The problems build character. The long hours build character. The problems build, you know, innovation and solutions. And, you know, that's truly what I'm all about. I, I definitely love the problems because it just builds a better, bigger, stronger business. However, I just wish the dish wasn't served so cold like i can handle problems but like come on you had to snow three days in a row and absolutely kill us with close to 30 centimeters of snow and you know 40 no probably 40 centimeters of snow in 48 hours and barely any experienced operators it's just like my god customers can't even keep up with customers not so much complaints but just you know the support is crazy in the office the phone calls the emails everything above it's certainly a game of patience and you need the infrastructure if any of you motherfuckers are crazy enough to try this i mean just be prepared
Okay, I thought I would hop on the camera quick while I got some energy in my system still. Currently 2 p.m. We finished our second pass by roughly, I'd say 1, 1.30. A couple guys were struggling out there, you know, still operators that are brand new, getting used to things. But uh, all in all, we were successful. I would say the two passes were completed in 12 hours. We definitely got to get quicker and I know it'll come with time. This was only our fourth event. Half our staff, more than half our staff is new operators. So that definitely doesn't help us being too quick. But you know what with time i know we'll get there all in all though I, I gotta say like out of all four snow events we've had this one has definitely been the most successful i know there's a lot of customers that are happy out there um that we did come for our second pass and completed full driveways notifications turned on as you guys know but anyways as you can see it's snowing behind me here i know the audio is probably rough because it's windy as hell but uh we're heading out tonight again third day in a row it's gonna be for snow event five my god it's not even december 1st i mean i absolutely love the game but i also hate it sometimes the guys definitely put their fair share of work in the last two days working two 12-hour shifts basically back to back but you know it's making us stronger as a team it's making us quicker and uh that's all you could ask for we do have a lot of unexperienced guys so um, you know, I'd like to get the two passes down to about the 10 hour mark. That would be ideal. Uh, I know we're on our way to achieving that very shortly, but it's just going to come with a couple more snow events and a little bit more practice out in the field. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. I'll make sure to get some great content for you as always. I'll catch you tonight. Snow event five and we'll see you soon.